What's up guys, Mohamed Skaka here from Product Feedback. A strong case is being put forward that Apple will be entering into the smartwatch market. Why? Well in this video we'll attempt to put together as much information as possible to find out. So if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to this channel, give this video a massive thumbs up and we'll get into this explained episode. Tech companies have been trying to buy into the smartwatch market quite heavily. It started with the Pebble smartwatch launched on Kickstarter earlier this year. Sony then introduced the Sony smartwatch 2, followed closely by Samsung with the Galaxy Gear. Both devices allowed users to connect to their smartphones and to access their information. What is Apple's play? Well, let's ask them. Bringing up the question a little bit, I think wearables is incredibly interesting. And uh, I think it could be a pro profound area for technology. I think the wrist is interesting. You know, I'm wearing this on my wrist. It's so somewhat natural. But as I said before, I think for something to work here, you first have to convince people it's so incredible that they want to wear it. That is fairly obvious that Apple is working on a product designed for the wrist market. Not only that, but Steve Wozniak added earlier this year that Apple is working on a product that will surprise and shock us all. What does Steve Wozniak know that we don't? Wall Street Journal and the New York Times claim that earlier this year, Mr. Gu, founder and chairman of Foxconn and Apple's main production partner, showcased a product at an Apple shareholder meeting. In this meeting, the product showcase was a smartwatch. Quoting Mr. Gu, with such a device, you can keep your phone in your pocket and check all kinds of messages on your watch. They also reported that Apple is working with a bendable curved glass. Curved glass, you say? Well, who could develop that on such a global scale for a product? Is it Gorilla? The New York Times claims that Corning is developing a bendable glass called Willow Glass that could be used to wrap around a wrist. It also cites that Apple has made big hiring in that department. However, Apple did receive a massive tax break to produce a sapphire glass facility in Arizona. This could mean that Apple is designing the glass in-house. And that kind of would be the case considering they are slowly moving to a lot of US-based manufacturing. The product showcased by Mr. Gu at the Apple shareholder meeting was also able to measure breathing and heart rate, as well as a fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor, the same one used on the iPhone 5S, well, from this, we can already see some of the possible functionality of this possible iWatch. Apple experts also noticed that Apple has poached staff from AccuVane, a medical sensor company that produces the C8 MediSensor. This MediSensor allows a device to measure different things about your blood. Things like GPS tracking, pedometer, altimeter would all be features of this new iWatch. It would most likely use Bluetooth 4.0 as a connection to your iPhones, because of the low power state enabled, which should allow the device to last for a very long time, which unfortunately has been a problem for many smartwatches only lasting a day or so. What will the curved Apple iWatch look like? Well, MPD Display Search says that Apple is working on a 320 by 320, 1.3 and 1.6 inch flexible AMOLED display for the iWatch. I believe Apple will take cues from the iPod Nano, which also had a 1.5 4 inch screen. It will most likely use an AMOLED display and also, as Bloomberg believes, allow you to make calls. It is most likely that Apple will call the watch iWatch. The reason is that they've been snapping up this trademark across the globe. It's not uncommon for Apple to do these sort of trademark buy-ups, but we've got a pretty good inclination that it will be towards that name. Now, the only downsides I could actually see with this watch is the fact that it needs to have at least a five-day battery life. I don't really want to be connecting it into the power every single night. I sometimes even forget to charge my own phone. The other downside or something that I would really like to see is that the device should be waterproof as obviously if you go outside in the rain or washing your hands it does get wet quite easily. And not only that but it would be quite nice to see if it was a rugged product because a lot of devices like my own watch I tend to bump it around into a lot of places. What will it cost? Considering the average cost of the Pebble is 115 US dollars. The Sony Smartwatch 2 is 179 and the Samsung Galaxy Gear is 299. I would assume we'd be looking around the 299 US dollar price point. When can we expect to see the Apple iWatch? 
Well, my best guess would be June 2014 at the Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. Would you buy a iWatch? Leave a comment below in the description. And if you enjoyed this explained episode, please follow me on Twitter, which is at Product Feedback. This has been Muhammad Skaka, and peace be with you.